Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Kathy Curtis from Clean and Healthy New York, and I have here with me today Senator Todd Kaminsky, the uh, Senate uh, Environmental Conservation Committee Chair. Uh, good morning, Todd. How are you? Good. Uh, it's been 50 years since the Earth Day, first Earth Day, when people across the U.S. came together to fight for cleaner air and water and a healthier world. Uh, and now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and health. Uh, can you tell us what Earth Day means to you? Uh, well, I, it's, it's an important time to reflect on something that our society has taken for granted for far too long clean air, clean water, a um, good environment for our, uh, our natural habitats on the species that we live with. So uh, it's incredibly important that we have a time where we ask ourselves, what did we do this year um, to help better our planet? And what could we do going forward to help better our planet? Um, I know there are some people who may say every day should be Earth Day. And that's, of course, true. We have to live our lives uh, not just by speaking slogans, but by following through in our daily lives and how we uh, protect the environment and create a more sustainable environment. But um, I do think it's important that we have an Earth Day where we stop and we focus on what needs to be done and what we all can do. And that can be as simple as a neighborhood cleanup, which I've done on, on Earth Day's past. And it can be as important as passing a legislative package in Albany where we tackle major issues like we did last year with the Child Safe Products Act or we could do going forward. Of course, this year, um, is, uh, is troubling for a lot of reasons. And one is we're not gonna have a regular Earth Day legislative package because we're home quarantined. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, this is uh, of course a very tough situation for everyone, nearly unprecedented. And um, you know, I'm hoping that soon we'll be able to pick up the pieces and, and get to work on, on um, you know, fixing our laws and making them stronger to protect our environment. Great. Uh, now you've been an enormous environmental champion. Uh, what, what have you done that you're the most proud of? What environmental policies have you been able to achieve that are, of which you're the most proud? And what do you plan to do next to build on those successes? You know, obviously the CLCPA is just a tremendous bill that impacts all areas of society. It's definitely the biggest thing I've ever done, maybe I ever will do in terms of a piece of legislation. Um, but last year we, we hit so many, um, you know, hit so many home runs. Child Safe Products was huge. Uh, yeah. Getting getting chlorpyrifos on the radar so it would become banned by the S by the DEC was huge. Uh, you know, offshore drilling ban, protecting Menhaden. Uh, these are all all big things that I'm I'm very proud of. Um, but there's there's obviously a lot more to do. You know, there is a lot we could do on solid waste mm -hmm. um, with uh, you know making sure that we have packaging and sustainability there. Um, and coming up with systems that, uh, you know, are able to, you know, prevent us from having mounds and mounds and mounds of, of uh, solid waste going forward. There's a lot we could do with, um, uh, with producer responsibility there. And I hope to have be part of a comprehensive solution with respect to that. Um, and there's also a lot of chemicals that we need to worry about. TCE is something I'm particularly concerned about. Um, it's a chemical that we've known for a long time is problematic, and that's a euphemism. I, I, it's a carcinogen, uh, causes uh, fetal heart deterioration. Um, and we've known since at least the John Grisham book of civil action, how, how terrible it is. And yet, whether it's military bases all over the country where water has been poisoned, or on Long Island where the Grumman plume is, uh, TCE is a major problem, and I'd like to tackle that. Um, also, dumping is a big problem. You know, dumping is an environmental justice problem. Often white collar companies are dumping their debris, their toxic debris in, in minority communities where they think no one will notice or care or be able to fight back. And so I'm a sponsor of a comprehensive anti-dumping bill that will create penalties, the first of their kind and a tracking system so the DEC knows where material is being moved um, so we can protect our aquifers, protect minority communities and crack down on dumping. So there's a lot more to do. Believe me, if this were any other time, we would be having press conferences standing there with Andrea Stewart Cousins, who's been amazing, yeah. um, passing a lot of great bills, but unfortunately, um, you know, we're, we're home. But that doesn't mean the fight stops. The fight continues sooner or later. We'll be able to get these things done. We can vote remotely. We're not uh, in hiatus by any means. It's just, you know, a very different Earth Day. Uh, 